It's now an hour and a half's drive along the coast to reach one of Calabria's top resorts, Tropea. Not well known in the UK or the USA, Italians consider it better value for money to travel down here in the very south of the country. Tropea is really, really nice, amazing for me. It's uh, probably the most important tourist destination in Calabria because it's situated in the so-called uh, coast of Brigaz because it's related with the ancient mythologies. This part of the Tyrrhenian coast of Calabria, really, really stunning, overlooking uh, the Aeolian Islands. So especially during the sunset, you can enjoy a really, really beautiful uh, landscape. Uh, you can swim in this uh, blue uh, sea, but you can also enjoy the historical center all the typical foods of the province of Vibo Valencia, as for example, the famous red onion of Tropea or the famous Nduya, our spreadable salami. Tropea is on two levels, the beach below and the old town on the cliff above. The exquisite Isola, crowned with a beautiful church, gives this resort incredible appeal. Santa Maria del Isola was built so long ago that the topography of the land around it has changed. When it was first erected, it was on a little island all by itself. But over the centuries, the silt has built in the water between the island and the mainland. Santa Maria was a simple church in medieval times, but had an extensive makeover during the Renaissance. In 1905, an earthquake destroyed its facade, but thankfully it was restored again to the level of beauty we can see today. It looks like the best views are from up there, Dave. That'll be me then, yeah? Yeah. I don't know what Deborah's aversion to stairs is, but uh, there you go. It's height. <laughs> oh, it's quite steep up here. The water of the Tyrrhenian Sea is so clear and inviting, many Italians and sun-seeking Germans drive south in camper vans or head for the town's assortment of hotels and B&Bs. Italians mostly holiday in July and August when it is probably too hot for people like us. In May, June and September, Tropea, like other resorts in the south, is both cheaper and less crowded, while the weather remains nice and warm. So now to visit the historical centre, and the only way is up. You do me wrong, husband. You could easily spend hours wandering the enchanting maze of cobbled, pedestrian-only streets, lined with grand 17th and 18th century buildings, but its history goes back through Norman, Roman and Greek times. The main square here is named Piazza Ecole, better known to us as Hercules. The resort has that lovely, timeless, faded feeling that is such a characteristic of sleepy southern Italian seaside towns. There aren't many specific tourist attractions. But the town is a maze of pretty lanes and palazzi, some of which are crumbling away, and little hidden squares that usually have restaurant tables. 